guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about strawberry legs. I'm gonna tell you what causes strawberry legs and how to prevent it and how to get rid of it. Strawberry legs refers to the appearance of a smattering of red dots on the lower legs around the hair follicle. And the red dot on the background of normal unaffected skin makes the affected area kind of look like the skin of a strawberry, hence its name, strawberry skin. There are a few things actually that um, can be going on that may give rise to the appearance of strawberry skin. The first skin condition is something called keratosis pilaris, a dry skin condition in which dry skin builds up around the hair follicle leading to a rough bump. And the base of the hair follicle, the part that, that, is, that is flush with the skin, gets a little bit of a redness around it. And so, you have a red, a red spot with a little rough bump on it. This often occurs not only on the legs, but also the upper arms and can occur on the face. It really can happen anywhere on the body, but those are the most common locations. And for the legs, it often can occur like on the upper thighs, for example. And when it does so, it gives rise to the appearance of what's called strawberry skin. The second cause of strawberry legs is something called folliculitis. Folliculitis refers to inflammation around the hair follicle and often is due to a little skin infection. Sometimes when we have um, areas of the skin where there's a lot of rubbing, a lot of friction, say underneath uh, some leggings, uh, then the hair follicle can get agitated and inflamed and some of the bacteria that are on our skin can kind of trickle down there and lead to a little pus bump. So you may have a little red spot that gets almost like an acne-like bump, and that is called a folliculitis. It's often due to, to bacteria, in which case it's a bacterial folliculitis. That is one cause of strawberry legs as well. The third cause is something that I also have videos on, ingrown hairs or shave bumps. This happens when the hair is shaved and uh, the hair as it's cut uh, kind of ends up getting a little wonky and grows back with a curvature into the neighboring skin and pierces the neighboring skin and causes this little bump. And that can happen particularly in people who may be using the same razor a little bit too frequently, um, shaving too quickly, not using uh, moisturizers after shaving, or are um, using kind of shaving in the wrong direction. So how do you get rid of strawberry skin? Regardless of the condition, I think one of the most useful things that you can do is to use a moisturizer on your legs. If you have keratosis pilaris, it's going to be very important for keeping the skin hydrated and treating the dry skin condition. If you have uh, inflamed hair follicles related to shaving, uh, using a moisturizer after you shave is really important because that keeps the skin hydrated and cuts down on the chances of those little ingrown hairs forming. If you have uh, a folliculitis, Part of what is putting you at risk for bacteria trickling into the skin is the skin barrier is impaired, so you need to use a moisturizer. In terms of the specific conditions, however, let's talk about keratosis pilaris. I have a video on several videos on keratosis pilaris, so check those out if you are a KP sufferer. But in the case of keratosis pilaris, choosing a moisturizer that has either urea in it or an alpha hydroxy acid in it will be even more helpful to you because both urea and alpha hydroxy acids are great ingredients for dry skin conditions because they lightly soften and exfoliate the built up dry skin stuff that may be leading to bumpiness. And they are also humectants, so they draw water into the skin, help it to be hydrated. So they are really great ingredients in moisturizers for for keratosis pilaris. If your strawberry legs is due to KP, those are great to use. Uh, one that I love is the Dermatology Exfoliating Body Lotion. It has the alpha hydroxy acid, lactic acid in it. And this is a great one. I will list it down below, as well as some other body moisturizers that contain either alpha hydroxy acids in them or urea. If the strawberry legs are due to folliculitis, or a little bacterial infection around the hair follicle, uh, products that contain um, acne fighting ingredients actually will be the most helpful to you. Salicylic acid body washes can cut down on the incidence of folliculitis. Lather the salicylic acid containing body wash to the affected areas, let it sit on the skin for a little while and then rinse it off in the shower and afterwards make sure you follow it up with a moisturizer. That can really help. Neutrogena makes a great salicylic acid body wash 
that I myself have used and it is really fantastic. Another acne ingredient that works well in this condition and for cutting down, reducing the, the risk of it is a benzoyl peroxide wash. Specifically, my absolute favorite one is the Panoxyl Creamy Benzoyl Peroxide Wash. Benzoyl peroxide can go to work to cut down on the bacteria that are, that are causing the problem and also to help to exfoliate that plugged up hair follicle and improve the appearance of, of strawberry skin. But like with the salicylic acid body wash, after you use it, you have to use a moisturizer because it dries out your skin quite a bit. So I will list this, those two down below for you guys in the description box as well. In the case of the ingrown hairs, however, the, um, the approach is going to be to first stop shaving for a while if you have ingrown hairs. Uh, give, your, give your skin a break from both your razor and allow the hair to grow out a little bit more. And then uh, take a look at your shaving practices. You should definitely change your razor much more frequently, at least every, every other use. Every use is what I would encourage, but I know a lot of people are alarmed when they hear that. It's quite a quite an environmental waste, but changing your razor more frequently is, is recommended. Don't keep your razor blade in the shower. I know it sounds convenient to do it to, to do that, but that actually can dull the blades and also puts uh, puts you at risk for bacterial bacterial biofilms forming on the razor. So don't store your razor in the shower. While you shave, make sure you use some kind of a barrier product to help in reducing irritation in the surrounding skin as you're dragging that razor blade across. You can use a shaving cream or shaving gel, or honestly, I personally have used conditioner and that works really well as well. Um, so that would be a tip. And then the other thing, after you shave, you absolutely have to use a moisturizer on the body. So that would be the tip for, for specifically for, for ingrown hairs. And I have a video on ingrown hairs, so check that out to talk more at length about different tips for ingrown hairs. Um, but those are things you wanna keep in mind for addressing strawberry skin. So in general, strawberry skin is a cosmetic concern, maybe due to a variety of reasons. Um, and there are some preventative things that you can do, namely using a moisturizer or a moisturizer with a specific active ingredient relevant to, to the associated condition. Check the description box below. I'll list some of my favorite moisturizers, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.